Hello, welcome to Rapid TV News Headlines for the week ending the 2nd of July 2021. And the main news this week. Rising production spend takes global streaming to escape velocity. New Normal sees nearly half of American TV viewers go cordless. And Mortal Kombat helps give HBO Max the edge. Data from Purely Streamonomics has found that in an uncertain year, streaming platforms have set the global film and TV industry on a trajectory of accelerated growth. The report calculates that the amount spent producing and licensing new entertainment content, excluding sports, soared by 16% in 2020 to reach $220 billion. This new milestone will likely be surpassed this year as well, with Purely anticipating a total spend of more than $250 billion in 2021. A study also found that the Walt Disney Company now spends more on content than all of Asia, and that with average production budgets on the rise, there are new opportunities for indies, including co-production and acquisition. Consumers of cordless TV are on track to become the predominant TV consumers in the next year. That's according to research from the Trade Desk. It found that 44% of Americans with cable TV anticipate pulling back or cutting service in the coming year, and 47% already have. The Future of TV survey found cord cutting accelerated as television programming, such as live sports, became unpredictable through the COVID-19 pandemic and as consumers' hunger for on-demand content grew. Analysis from streaming search engine Real Good has revealed the way that investment in blockbuster films has taken direct-to-consumer service HBO Max to the top of US streaming charts in the second quarter of 2021. In its study, Real Good said that in an effort to grow and retain their subscriber basis, services such as HBO Max, Netflix and Disney Plus debuted an astronomical amount of blockbuster content in the quarter. By making offerings such as Mortal Kombat and Godzilla vs. Kong available to all subscribers at no extra cost, HBO Max's day and date releases were the most popular. In other news, research from App Annie's found that entertainment was one of the leading categories for mobile app download growth in the second quarter of the year. The Q2 index report indicated that in video, TikTok continued its dominance, surpassing YouTube for user engagement. The average Android user spent 24 and a half hours a month in the app in the US, nearly 26 in the UK. Demand for video streaming apps is also climbing, with HBO Max reaching 18 million US monthly active users. A study from Interprets revealed the continued near-term growth potential of streaming devices, noting that half of consumers who plan to purchase a smart TV or a streaming media player within the next three months will be first-time buyers. Uh, the remainder will be existing owners who are replacing their streaming device, upgrading to a newer version or switching to a new brand. 10% of consumers plan to buy a smart TV, and a similar number plan to purchase a streaming media player within the next quarter. And finally this week, video commerce leaders QVC and HSN are bringing live stream shopping to users of Comcast Xfinity entertainment platforms. The shopping apps will show QVC and HSN six linear channels, along with a catalog of video on demand, and original programming, designed specifically for streaming, such as Travel Cook Repeat with Curtis Stone, and Mally Makes It Better, featuring makeup maven Mally Ronkel. For more information on these stories and others, please go to the Rapid TV News website. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.